is finally going to bear down on you. Two games all, first set. Yannick Noah, when he gets foot followed, it's basically because of the back foot. He drags the back foot onto the baseline. So he's not a very happy man and a tough break for him. Two all. Bernard did it in 1946. Now that same year, he got to the semi-final. That was 1983, semi-final of the US Open. Contrast, Andre Agassi won his first tournament, as we mentioned in the stand-up, as late as 1987, November 1987, in Itaparica, collected $90,000 for the win. And then he won five tournaments this year. Six he's done now Six with Livingston last right. week. Including the Tournament of Champions. when the drop shot would come into play with Yannick Noah and here it is for the first time it's not very short but look at this and Noah looks at him and says now how did you whip that across court so fast in front of me watch preparation of Agassi in isolation here look there now the racket's back before and he steps into it and slaps it cross court with a big jump in the air he's off the ground when he makes contact with that incredible shot unbelievable balance second serve the top of the racket a little bit of backspin but he'll take it any way he can on serve now three two first set one thing to be able to serve and Yannick Noah has one of the best in the business but you have to be able to back it up with a volley well technically he has an outstanding volley if you take a look at this watch his shoulder rotation not as much as on the ground strokes but see his racket head is up and his wrist is firm at this point right. eyes on the ball and sideways to the net isn't he now you'll see him go through and then watch this you have to have versatility as well. And so Noah picks this one off almost his shoelaces. <coughs> Half volley. Look at his racket head. Big stretch. Please hurry to your seats, ladies and gentlemen. There's Pancho Gonzalez watching this match. Brother-in-law of Andre Agassi is married to Andre's sister, Rita. He gets to travel as much now as he used to when he was playing, watching <laughs> Andre play. And there on the left of your screen in the black and white striped shirt is Patrice Agilet, who with his hand there now on his chin, and then Philip Agassi in the red shirt in front of him. Agilet, of course, is the coach of Yannick Noah. has a tennis camp in France. has looked after Noah out. since he was the coach of the French Davis Cup team. Agassi walks up to the mark that he claims was the left by the serve from Noah, but no concession from Bill Rule in the chair, 15 love.
are taking their time between points more so today than most of the rest of this week. on that one and directed it straight down the line and gets that ball so early I think Andre Agassi sees the ball earlier than any player on the tour the thing is he hit so many of them that you kind of lose sight of just how extraordinary it is what he does bring rain. <laughs> Yannick Noah and look at the athleticism there. Great backhand volley. High backhand, tough one. And this one goes up and up and up and waves it out. Covered it, he was right, of course. So Noah holds on to serve three games all. When you do that, though, of course, you can look stupid if you choose the wrong way. I guess he said, I don't mind you playing that, but don't make it look so easy. <laughs> Fine control on that backhand volley from Yannick Noah. Actually, when you play against Agassi, I think you've got to anticipate and go. <laughs> Because he hits the ball so hard that, in a way, you're forced to. If you don't make a move one way or the other, you're just not going to get there in time. If somebody doesn't hit the ball as hard, you can wait for him to make the shot and then react. It's not as easy when the guy's hitting bullets at you. easiest game that Agassi's had on serve. This is his last service game. He said a double fault first point and then one four in a row. Right Andre Agassi on serve. Four three first set. The US Open for this year. A very open field in the men's division. Mats Wielander has a great chance. Last year in the final against Ivan Lendl. Well, he lost that match, and the talk of the tennis world was Ivan Lendl, and could he win a Grand Slam? Then Mats Wielander in Australia beat Pat Cash in the final. That's it. And then went on to the French Championships, where again he won. So, going into Wimbledon, he was the only man who had a chance to win the Grand Slam against Henri Leconte of the French. Zealander's outstanding success this year. He is ranked number two in the world and is the number two seed for the US Open next week. Back We're live back live here. Yannick Noah oh. served an ace, first point. Oh. Four games to three, I guess, 15 all.
quite an extraordinary get actually because it didn't look as though Agassi was going to reach that one and this is the drop shot that Yannick Noah has been waiting to play and he plays it to perfection and look at Agassi there the racket out in front that's the secret to chasing those drop shots in isolation look what he does one hander here racket out in front and just angles that across in front of Noah look where he met that one Two break points for Agassi now. And if he wins one of the next two, he'll serve for the first set. Boletieri and Philip Agassi. Boletieri, of course, is Agassi's coach, and Philip is his brother. Thirty-four. that noise and that's enough to have Noah complain if he so desires let's listen he's going up to the man in the chair now or is he just listen I'm talking about the passage I don't know if you remember maybe it's too far Okay, he, you know, when, I mean, it's not that he bothered me, he played well, but I mean, can you like just scream, you know, like... You can, uh, if it interrupts you, but it always passes you, that's the thing. I'm not talking about the passing, I'm talking about the passing that he hit before I hit the volley, you know what I mean? I'm not talking about something that didn't exist, all right? Watch it, I don't think it was... Great. It wasn't. There's something great about you guys, you're always right. You're never gonna give credit. I mean, that makes so much sense. You will not even think about it. Like I'm trying to cheat. No, you're not. Keep talking. I'm too tired to get up. I guess he says, keep talking. I'm too tired to get up. But he, clearly, Noah was bothered by that cry from Agassi, and it could indeed have affected the volley. That's something that Agassi is going to have to watch. <laughs> Those... All 15 love, but Agassi wants to serve the second serve. He thinks it was wide, so he's going to. circumstances that cry of Agassiz is hit as, as he either finishes the point or doesn't and I think he thought that was, was going to happen that was a Sydney or the Bush as Fred would call it he was either going to hit a winner or it was going to be out but Noah was there and was bothered by it and as I said Agassiz going to have to watch it the thing <coughs> Yannick Noah, when he approached Bill Rule, did it in a gentlemanly fashion. Uh, as, and he said, you know, that he's playing well and he's doing a great job. It's not that it bothered me, but you're not allowed to yell during the middle of a point. If it affects the other player, you're not. It's a judgment call. Oh! So Noah was quite right about it. In my opinion, 
opinion, Fred. I don't want to beat the thing to death, but Bill Rule should have said to him, you're right, I'm going to talk to Andre about it, but I'm not going to overrule what's already happened. I agree with you. But then uh, Bill Rule didn't say that, and yeah, now I got upset with Bill Rule. He said, well, you guys are never going to understand. You're always right. Set point. <laughs> Corrected by the man on the line. Now Bill Rule says replay the point. Bill Rule, if he's working the open, and Noah says you should take him for every match because he's making the calls. There's the 40, shot there now. 40, it's called now. Agassi gives him the point because Agassi says it didn't bother him. He could. He never had a play on the shot at all. And uh, so Bill Rule said it did bother him. He was going to give him two, and Agassi said. <laughs> <laughs> he says if it was 30 all, I don't know if I'd give it to you. It was set point, remember? 40-15. <laughs> Noah and Bill Rule still having Time. words about what has gone on in that first set, or what went on in the first set, rather, because the set is history, 6-3 for Agassi. Noah says, look, I just want to get on and play, and he feels that there were, there were some times when Bill Rule right. should have overruled. This ball is round the line, it's a this clear winner. Happened. You see God in him. Now this ball is right. I mean, I'm not going to complain every point. I mean, I would love to play. No, you don't complain. I would love to I play, you know what I mean? Can you allow that? They are not overrulable. That was Bill Rule's response. I didn't think Bill Rule had a few problems the other day uh, with uh, Yvonne Lendl, and uh, I don't think he takes control of the match possibly the way he should. First point, second set. Crowd <laughs> appreciate Noah's talent for catching the ball on his record. You know, that thing was coming at him pretty hard, too. Yeah. That's not easy to do. Pinpoint accuracy of that forehand from Agassi and puts Noah in trouble in the first game of the second set. could meet Jimmy Connors if they both get to the quarterfinals at the Open. Be an interesting match between two slam bangers. Agassi said at four, Connors said at six. And I talked to Lendl about that match. Freddie feels that Connors may have the edge if the two play against each other. I'd like to see that one just to see how the crowd, the New York crowd, react because Connors has orchestrated the crowd there and is a great favorite, has been for a decade or so. Look at that. Now you have 
this young fellow who is a superstar. And he's become that in the last 12 months. Yannick Noah. Incredible Nerf. rise. He's a very special guy, this Noah. <laughs> that boo you heard was from him. He is a tremendous individualist. <laughs> I've only seen Thomas Muster be able to stay back with Andre Agassi all year. Anybody else, with the exception, I guess, of Mats Wieland in the French Championships, Freddie, you stay back with him, you can 